Welcome back folks. Today we're checking out another set of headphones. They are the Dudios Zeus Ace True Wireless Stereo Headphone. Hopefully I said that properly. It's quite a mouthful. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel folks. My name's Shane. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and also click the bell. So Dudios actually sent these out for review. So a huge thanks to them for letting me review these. I appreciate it. It's gonna be a pros and cons review. Now, just to put it into some sort of perspective, these are around 40 bucks, give or take, depending on where you live. If you live in Australia, they'll be around that price. Within the US, they'll be a little bit less. I'll leave some links in the description. This is an unpaid review. They have let me keep this, but that's it. So I'm gonna get into this with my iPhone 6S Plus, and we'll probably do a quick comparison with the old school iPhone headphones, which I got with this phone quite some time ago, and we'll see if these sound any better or not. And then I'll also cover some of the features about this as well. So one of the cool things about it is it's true wireless, no boundaries. It says TWS technology ensures no wire tangles. So that's pretty cool. High fidelity sound, enjoy premium audio quality with no latency, clear voice calling, stereo voice technology support, a clear calling for both ears. That's pretty cool too. I think one of the great things about this particular unit is you can also pair each headphone obviously with one device for stereo or you can pair just one with a computer and one with your phone. I think that's a really cool feature as well. It means you've only got one in, but you know, it works well that way also. And it says long lasting playtime. You get up to 30 hours of usage with a four hour charge. So that's pretty wild. It's an 800 milliamp hour battery as well, as you can see on the front here, all the specs are there. I'll probably overlay some B-roll or something like that about the specs or put up a side thing somewhere so you can check it out in more detail. So let's open it up. Beautiful, look at that. It looks awesome, that's the case. In the box we get a USB cable, this is for charging. We get a selection of different earbud sizes as well, which is great, it creates a good seal if you find the right size. We also get a quick start guide as well, and I love when I see these in a box. It usually means whatever we're setting up is easy to set up. That's cool. We also get an in-depth user manual as well. And here we go, let's check out the headphones. Nice little case, and the case is actually the charger. How great is this? Plug the USB in and it will charge the headphones internally here. Let's take a look at this. They look great, man. Really, really nice. This, uh, these look like a pretty high quality set of earbuds. And if you check this out, they're magnetized in place. So it makes it easy for you to charge it. You just drop them in and you'll be good to go. That's really, really cool. One thing I should mention is I just looked up the instruction manual to find out what the frequency range is of these headphones, but I found no information on that, which is kind of odd, but it doesn't matter. It's all about how they sound once they're actually on and working. We get a maximum working range of 33 feet, which is 10 meters. That's great. It means you can have your phone or whatever you got it connected to in one room, walk out into the other room. It should still work fine. That's pretty wild. We get a standby time of 120 hours. That's pretty cool too. We also have a talk time of up to four hours as well, which is a lot less than just listening to music because you'll be using the microphone that's built into this as well. And it will drain the power quicker that way. In terms of the charge time, it only takes 1.5 hours, which is nice and quick considering we get up to 33 hours of use. Now, in terms of the weight of the earbuds, they're only 0.16 ounces or 4.7 grams. So they weigh next to nothing, which is insane. Even just having it like this is nice and light. It really weighs next to nothing at all. Let's plug them in or at least turn them on. For this first test, I'm literally gonna follow the quick start guide and hopefully it all works all right. So it says, take the earbuds out. We are all good to go. Now it says to charge them up, but I'm gonna assume like most things like this, when they come to you, they've already got at least half the charge or something like that. So let's see how we go. The next thing I wanna do is just turn them on. So I'm gonna hold the button down until we start to get some flashing action over here. And we're gonna see if they turn up on my phone, which they have already. Nice. And it says connected. That was nice and easy. So they are, listed as left and right ear as well, which is pretty great. So we're just gonna put these in. The ones that are actually, the bits that are on the end of these are actually perfect fit for me. So that's gonna be fine. Now you wanna sort of turn them so they're sitting up 
Already I can tell you these are extremely noise cancelling once you get them in that up position like that. They feel great, they're very, very comfortable. I don't think they're gonna fall out. And usually I would avoid these kind of earbuds because I've, I have a phobia of like losing one or something, but they feel pretty secure. I'll take this next time I go to the gym and we'll see how they go as well. So I'm gonna play some music that I've actually produced and for this part, I'll speed up the video maybe like eight times so it doesn't bore you, but I'm gonna see what they sound like with some music that I've produced. So let's give it a go. I'll tell you what, there ain't nothing wrong with these, especially for their price. The bass is nice and full sounding. I'm, sh I'm just a little bit disappointed I can't uh, share the specs of the audio frequency with you, but they sound fine. It's like I actually mixed and mastered this album and recorded it myself. And I know how it's supposed to sound and it sounds great with these little earbuds. So I'm gonna go back and get my iPhone headphones and do a quick comparison. So I'll be back. All right, over to my iPhone 6S Plus headphones. This came with the phone like four years ago, however long it was ago. So let's give this a shot. Same song. Now you can see me sort of pushing my headphones in further to sort of replicate the sound of these. If I don't do that, they, these don't sound anywhere near as good as the Dutios, but you know, they don't have those rubber connections on the end either. So I'll go back to the other ones and we'll see how they compare. One thing I've noticed already straight off the bat with these compared to the Apple iPhone headphones is they have a whole lot more bass. Now that could also be because of the kind of seal and the noise cancelling they create as well. They kind of fit better. The iPhone headphones don't really fit my ear that well and some people it might fit their ear shape or canal better than others. But these ones, because of these rubber bits, feel great. Now I'm a musician as well and I used to use Shaw in-ear monitors and anytime you can create a seal that blocks out a lot of noise, you get a much better sound. And same for live uh, performance as well. But in terms of how it sounds with music, it sounds great. One more listen. Even at higher volumes, these sounded great. I had my phone essentially two stops away from the maximum volume and they were still nice and clear. There wasn't any uh, harmonic distortion or anything like that. So for the price you get for these, you get a lot of headphone. So some of the functionality you also get with this, I've still got the right one in right now, is the fact that either button will play or pause the track that you're on. So I can start it with either button. And I can stop it as well. It takes about a second once you click the button for something to happen. So that's also pretty cool. Now we also get a play next and previous. So we can double tap the left multifunction button for the previous track or double tap the right multifunction button for the next track. So you can double tap it twice. I'm gonna try this in my ear to see if it sort of pushes in or does anything weird. Let's give this a shot. So right was next track. I'll press play first. Worked. Now, if you want to answer a call, you press the multifunction button once, and you can do that on either, either side, left or right, it doesn't matter. Now, if you want to hang up on a call, you press the multifunction button once. Nice and simple as well. And if you want to reject the phone call, you press the multifunction button for 1.5 seconds. So if you don't want to answer a call, just hold the button down, it'll click ignore or whatever it does on your particular phone. You can also mute a call as well. Double tap the multifunction button during a call. So if you want to mute your actual microphone, that's pretty handy as well. If you've got a lot of background noise, we're walking outside and it's windy or whatever, or in your, if you're in a loud environment, that's also pretty handy. We can also activate voice assist. On my phone, it's Siri, sadly, but if you've got some other assistant on your phone, it should work. So you push it for one second. Let's give this a shot. What is the weather in Melbourne, Australia? All right, so I don't need that. And one thing I've noticed on my phone too, it also tells me how much battery life the ear earbuds actually have left. I think that's pretty wild. So overall, one of my opinions on these, given that they're only 35 to $45, depending on where you live in the world, I think they sound and perform really, really well. They synced up perfectly, first time, no problems at all. Turned them on, found my devices under Bluetooth devices and clicked sync and that was it. Nice and simple. I didn't have to do anything to get them to work properly, which is fantastic. I love the fact that this particular little charging pack is, is brain dead simple as it is. You just drop them in and you're good to go. Now, if, you, if your ears got different sizes to mine, which I'm sure many people will have, you get different little bits of rubber ends you can put on them as well, which is also great. 
It comes with the cable to charge them up and it also lets you know on the phone how much battery life you've got left. I think that's just, uh, I'm, some headphones don't do that, even in today's day and age. So I'm glad they've included that, especially on that on-screen information is really, really handy, especially if you're traveling and you don't know how much exactly you've got left you know, in the, in the actual tank here. So I think it's pretty cool. I love the little carry case as well. If you're not using them, you can simply just take this with you and look how small and light this is. These are great. For their price, they're a no-brainer. If you want to find out more about these, all the links will be in the description below. A huge thanks to Dudios for sending these out as well. I hope I've pronounced the name of the company properly. But uh, yeah, I think, you know, I always take into consideration how much something's worth and what kind of value you get out of it. That's what I try to do on this channel. Anytime I review something, it's my own personal experience, you know, and comparison with other stuff in somewhat controlled environment. So, in terms of what I think of these, I think they're great. If you're gonna buy a wireless set of Bluetooth headphones, definitely give these a look. They sound cool. Thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.